In this screencast I'll show you how to use group contribution methods to design a molecule with target properties. So the brief here is to design a molecule with a melting point of 256.16 Kelvin, boiling point of 443.4 Kelvin and an enthalpy of vaporization of 40.658 kilojoules per mole. And these target properties have been put into these boxes and then we have values that have been calculated from the group contribution methods. Um, so in another video I've, I've explained how this uh, works with these gr group contribution methods from Joback and Reed 1987 uh, using these different increments in order to calculate and estimate values of physical properties. These all get added up, uh, these increments, uh, and then we work out physical properties here. So the slight difference to the previous video that showed how these group contribution methods worked is that now these values are going to be determined by an optimization uh, method using Solver to actually work out what groups we need to bring together to, to find a target molecule. So in Solver we are going to minimize this objective function. This function is the differences between the estimated value and the target value squared and all of those added up and then we're going to minimize that objective function by varying all of these cells here so we can choose different group contributions at different numbers of groups in order to get the target properties. There are some constraints as well we're going to say that each of these should be equal to or less than 10 just so just to limit the number of possibilities and we're also going to say that these should be integers. In terms of the options uh, the constraint precision has been changed to 0 0.01 and the convergence has also been changed to 0 0.01 just a little bit more suitable values for the current problem. I click OK, click Solve and now this solver will go through lots of different possible options and try and find um, an optimum, optimum values for all these group contribution molecules, how many groups should we have. A slight problem, a slight drawback with this is that the groups that are found, the number of groups and the different combination of groups might not actually be able to give us a, a target molecule. They might not be able to actually make a molecule from all of the different groups that uh, are suggested. The other problem is there's lots of possible permutations here. It'll actually take Solver a very long time to come up with a solution. So we'll wait for Solver to find a solution and then we'll see um, what these values actually tell us. So Solver has now found a solution. Um, so we can click OK on there and we can take a look at the results. So the objective function has now been minimized to 0 0.7 and the target properties are a lot closer to what we were after. If we come down here, we'll see that it suggested that we have two of these O groups, oxygen groups, um, one of these SH groups and two of these sulfur ri uh, non-ring groups. Now, I think you would agree that just from looking at those there isn't going to be really a, a feasible molecule that we can put together from those groups. So in the next video I'll show you a more intelligent and more guided way of setting up this problem so that it's more constrained to find a target molecule. But for now this shows us the basic principle of how we want to set this problem up and the way that we can go about uh, designing a, a target molecule with target properties.